We use it to heat our homes, drive vehicles, and even make some types of plastic. Hi everyone, I'm Megan with the Governor's Office of Energy Development, and today we're going to learn about natural gas. So first, what is natural gas and why is it important? Natural gas is a type of hydrocarbon or fossil fuel that was formed from the remains of prehistoric plants and animals over millions and millions of years. While it's an old resource, it's recently made a rise to dominate the markets due to its affordability and low emissions. Here in Utah, we continue to demonstrate national leadership in the way that we responsibly develop and strategically use this precious resource. For example, Utah ranks 12th nationally for natural gas production and is home to three of the largest 100 natural gas fields in the country. Utah also favors a diverse transportation strategy, including the use of compressed natural gas or CNG vehicles. In 2017, Utah had the second largest number of public CNG refueling stations per capita. Well, now that you know a little bit more about Utah's world-class resource, let's take a deeper look into how and where natural gas was formed in Utah all those years ago. So imagine you got into a time machine and you traveled back 50 million years to an area that is now known as the Uinta Basin. Well, it would be entirely underwater. Back then, Lake Uinta was an oasis for plants, fish, marine life, even big crocodiles. And oil and natural gas was formed from the remains of these types of organisms that lived in the water many, many years ago. Organisms that may have started out looking just like this pile of sludge I dug up on the shores of Antelope Island just a few days ago. You can already see there's microbes forming and plants from the shorebed. Well, through the years, Lake Uinta vanished and heat, pressure, and bacteria combined to stew and brew these organisms deep under the earth, forming a thick liquid oil. Like what you see on this core sample, all of these layers of earth and a ring of oil. Natural gas was formed in deeper, hotter regions further underground and for greater amounts of time. This entire process, or circle of life, shows how states of matter like a solid can change to a liquid or a gas when their physical conditions change. Let's drill this home with an example. For this activity, you're going to need a measuring cup, water, cooking oil, a clear plastic bottle, two Alka-Seltzer tablets, and a balloon. First, pour a quarter cup of water into the clear bottle, just like this. Next, take a quarter cup of cooking oil, just like that, and pour that into the bottle. So you can already see the layers are separating based on density. The water is actually more dense than the oil, so the oil rises up to the top. Now let's make it interesting. Take your two Alka-Seltzer tablets and snap them in half so they can fit through this narrow opening, just like that, and immediately stretch over a balloon. Whew. You can already see that the Alka-Seltzer tablets are stewing and brewing in with the oil, causing a gas to form and actually inflate the balloon. So. Just like this experiment, ancient organic matter was transformed from a solid to a liquid and finally a gas with enough heat and pressure over time to eventually bring you a warm home, reliable vehicle, and maybe even this plastic bottle. Thanks for watching. You can find this and more lesson plans and activities on our website, energy.utah.gov.